Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to use the sound input and output controls on your Mac. So you may have multiple audio output and input devices on your Mac. For instance, you could have speakers and a USB headset. You could also have multiple mics, including the built-in mic on your Mac. So here's how to choose between them. You want to go to the System Preferences and look for Sound. Under Sound, you have three tabs. We're just going to focus on the Output and Input tabs right now. So the Output tab, you've got a list of all the devices hooked up that can support sound output. So for instance, you've got the internal speakers and you also have Line Out, the external speakers. You can also have different things, like on my Mac Pro, I've got a digital out. I also have a USB fast track, which is an audio device that supports both input and outputs. And this here is actually a USB headset. Now you can select any one of these, and then you can also set the balance and the output volume. You can also select to show the volume in the menu bar, which puts that little icon up in the upper right corner of your Mac screen that allows you to control the volume directly from there without having to go to these preferences. Now the input section looks similar. I've got a list of devices here. So I've got Line In, Digital In, a Blue Snowball microphone, also the Fast Track device where I can hook up any uh, external microphone to, and here's my headset. Below the list of inputs, I've got one of the most important things, which is the input volume. So different devices are going to give you a different level. So for instance here, I've got uh, my Blue Snowball microphone selected, so I can adjust the volume here. I can see like this is too low, and here I can put it up to maximum since the mic's pretty far away from my mouth right now but I could adjust it to the proper level. You want to kind of have it just a little bit above halfway when you, uh, when you peak, when you speak at your loudest. So if you set the output and the input, then you're all set for your audio, right? No, not quite, because some individual applications have their own settings. So for instance, here I am in iChat, and I go to the Audio Video tab in iChat, and I can see at the bottom here, I've got a list for microphone and sound output, and I can choose one of these. So I can choose something different than what I've chosen in the System Preferences for both. Now I like the way GarageBand does it the best. You've got Audio Output Input in the Audio MIDI tab in your GarageBand Preferences. You can choose System Setting, so it will obey your System Preferences, or you can choose another device. Same thing for Input. Here's the popular audio editor Audacity, and in the preferences here, we have Audio I.O., and you can choose the playback device and the recording device. And here we are in the Skype preferences. There's an audio tab in there as well, and you can choose an output device and an input device. You can even choose what output device to use for ringing. Now, if you're an Audio Pro and you want even more control over these devices, run the Audio MIDI setup utility that's on your Mac. You get a lot more control over the different devices. A lot of times problems people have with applications like iChat and Skype are that the input devices simply are not set correctly. So knowing where these controls are can really help you. I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.